Good afternoon, YouTube. 302 Fishing out here again, creating another awesome episode of fishing. It is race weekend, and everybody and anybody that's a resident of Dover gets out of town. They go down the beach or they go up north. And I'm heading to go up a tiny bit north here, and we are going to fish the kidney bean pond today. Just to get away from all the chaos and the hubbub with all those drivers that come from every state and all the crazed lunatic fans that are out there. I used to be one, but I don't watch NASCAR so much anymore. But today's uh, idea is I think the fish are still on their beds, so I'm going to go ahead and use uh, the lizard again, but a different color. We're not going to use watermelon like we normally use. We're going to use black with a blue tail because I got a feeling that this pond here is going to be kind of cloudy right here, and I need these fish to be able to see that bait. I've also been hearing a whisper here that top water is happening. So I'm going to slap on a buzz bait and maybe later on down on the episode, I'm going to toss it out there and see if we're going to elicit a strike. So give me a couple seconds to get up the road. We'll get our baits out there and if we're lucky, we get some fish on. All right, so a mere few steps away from where we're going to start off. We are on the back side of the pond. I got a feeling that uh, the bass will probably be back on the shallow areas uh, over here. And it's easier to access this area first than going to that end where all the cattails are at and everything else. But you can see in a mere week, all of the vegetation that is growing around here. So now it's a jungle. <laughs> we are gonna have to be fighting through some nonsense here. But we're gonna grab the lizard as I told you we were gonna do first. And I will grab the packet out here just so you guys know what I'm talking about. Again, same thing, six inch lizard, black blue tail by zoom again any tackle store you can find these things out they're pretty prevalent there but uh, we're gonna go ahead and get this line all untangled there and we are gonna toss it out there cross the fish fingers and hopefully we get lucky here I picked the wrong time to wear a hoodie it is hot as heck but the only reason I put it on again because of all this going on you got ticks and everything else and I don't want them on my skin I'd rather pick them off my jacket than pick them off of my skin or biting me. Like I said, Lyme disease here is prevalent. Uh, the ticks are moving. I did catch a tiny one last week off my body, and uh, it's not a fun thing. I've had a, a family uh, relative that actually got it, still suffering from it a year and a half. Even though he looks healthy, he still has the remnants of the symptoms, but you could possibly die from it, and that's not a good thing. Bugs are extra thick. These uh, no seams and uh, even mosquitoes are starting to eat me alive. It's only it's a little bit after lunchtime. It's like almost uh, 1:30, and uh, it is quite sticky out right now. We are fishing post frontal. Uh, we did have a small little front go through uh, yesterday, but we have a big one that's going to be coming through on Sunday. As I told you that uh, we are going to fish because it's going to be the better of the two days. I heard a fish jump over here behind me, just trying to find out where the uh, Swalls are at, but I don't see it. This is one of those ponds where, when you go to some of these ponds, you always get hits left and right all the time. These are one of those ones that are kind of finicky. You just got to figure out where they're at because sometimes they sit in one area and then you come back the next time thinking they're going to be there and they're like in a total different area the next time. And this one's really hard to figure out. I mean, even though it's just a small little pond, uh, it's kind of complicated. Uh, when it comes to uh, choosing the baits in here and everything because it's always out I've never seen this pond ever clear at all. It's always either chalky uh, or you know milky brown So you're trying to set your colors and and preferences and it's uh, Proves hard to, to figure out, but we're gonna try to dial in the pattern here. Uh, it's my favorite part of the pond here, walking through the rocks and all this mushy nonsense. Good old ankle breaker area. I call the uh, squish zone. <laughs> Alright, almost there. 
All right. All right, so I took a couple minutes and sat in some shade. And uh, literally the spots I normally go to, I think this is it right here, uh, are covered <laughs> in trees and every other thing. So it's gonna be hard for me to find out where these tiny little trails are to get out and fish in these openings. So if I walk through here, you'll see the opening right there in front of us. But look at all these minnows, good Lord almighty, something has gotta be over here, guys. But if you look over here, not right here, but right behind, those trees are literally double my side. And if you can imagine, two months ago, none of this was here. <laughs> so that's how quickly these uh, reeds and weeds and whatever plant life is in here grows. All right, let's throw a couple shots with the uh, buzz bait. Oh, look at that, guys. Did you see that giant blow up right there? Wow. <laughs> That's a top order hit right there. Let's try to bring it right over again, see what happens. Wow, that was a huge, huge hit. Right there again. There we go. Fish on, guys. Fish on. Big hit. Big hit. Oh, she is sweet. Big hit. Outstanding. I came right back. Just like Oki says, man, always cast right over. It's a big one, guys. It's a big one. Four or five? Nah, maybe three or four. First top water hit of the year. Wow. There it is, guys. Nice old chunk. Look at that. <laughs> Buzz bait action. That's what I love, man. You saw that huge blow up. And I pulled out the Oki uh, card, recast over again, and that fish literally went right back after it once more. Boom. Pretty, pretty fish outstanding all right let's get a wait all right so we're all zeroed out we got a nice little uh, chunk right here let's uh get that scale underneath this fish is really really aggressive right now and uh, we'll see what kind of weight we got going on here oh, 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 oh. We ain't gonna, we're not going to lose this fish guys guarantee let her settle down and you can see it right there, three point, we'll say 3.65 pounds, almost a four pounder. Big fat blow up. All right, another bait we can use now. So give me a second, let's go ahead and uh, fix the camera and uh, we'll get that release on. Absolutely awesome. Let's get her uh, aerated up a little bit. Thank you, mama. And going boom <laughs> Woo! top water baby all right so i'm taking the long walk back to the vehicle uh it looks like that front's starting to come through because uh behind me there are some uh clouds coming through that are pretty dark and i'm gonna try to get the last few casts in here all right 15 minutes left oakster uh blew my phone up uh he is bringing uh, uh some more footage that he shot. Uh, he's not feeling too well, uh, and he doesn't want to stay too long. So I'm going to make sure I'm there timely for him. But uh, he's always out there gunning for another episode while I'm out there working. And uh, I got to make sure I do my due diligence for him as much as I put forth through the episodes I do by myself. But so far, uh, we've been unproductive for about an hour. All right, guys, just for the heck of it, I threw on a Mustad rattle trap. And uh, we're going to throw a couple casts, and we truly have to get out of here because I know Oki is going to be mad if I continue to sit out here and he's waiting there for me. So we're going to throw maybe 
seven or eight casts right now. But I'm sure we'll get a bunch of algae on here, but it's worth a shot. Look at that little fish, little dink, guys. Look at this thing. <laughs> he literally leaped out of the water. This thing is about as big as the bait. <laughs> Off the rattle trap, man. But that one's by Mustad. That's not one we usually use right here. We use Berkeley and uh, Bagley. I just happened to pick this one up because it was uh, buy one, get one half off. But I knew something hit me once when I was out there a couple casts before. But we're going to throw this one more time. But it, clearly the pattern is reactionary baits. All right, I'm heading my way back down the road. We're going to fight raceway traffic. But as we're going down there, I'll explain to you basically in a couple minutes what happened here. Uh, it was extremely tough out there. The bite was hard. Three hours of time I was out there, swept my butt off. As you can see, I got a hoodie on. It's almost 70 degrees, so that was a bad mistake to begin with. But I thought it might rain because we had an overcast day. And quickly as that overcast day was in front of us, as quickly as that sun came out, and I think that's what kind of ruined everything and turned them fish off. But we were able to get some fish. Uh, that lizard would basically was non-existent. Uh, fish were just pulling at that tail and that was just about it. And not even a touch on the chatterbait, which was the desperation bait. But I kept my ear on the street. I went with my intuition. I brought that buzz bait and guess what? We produced a fish off of top water. <laughs> Go figure at the beginning of May. But maybe that water's warm enough that we can still continue to do that. I'm gonna go ahead and try it again the next time I'm out. But you saw that big, beautiful blow up right before I had the second hit from it when I went right back over it because that fish missed it big time. I said, man, that thing's gotta be big. So when I tossed it over there and pulled the oki, came right back over that ripple where that fish came out of, and God, that fish just destroyed that buzz bait. And that's my favorite color, man. I always go to that because I always have my best blow ups on that color. Again, that water was chocolatey and we had to go with something dark so that fish can key and see on that on top of the noise it was making. But nonetheless, uh, I went through the episode with uh, much trepidation with just one fish. And I said, you know what? I'm gonna run to the car real quick before I go down to the Oakster. I'm gonna put a rattle trap on real quick. And it's by Mustad. Not even five minutes. You saw that little ding smash up on that bait. You would think he was a 10 pounder sitting on the way. He jumped out there and just tried to wriggle that bait off. But we got him in and we produced more than one fish. So hey, I'm not crying about it. I had a good day. I'm, I got fish. Hopefully you guys caught some big ones today. Hopefully the weather is a little bit better than mine. And hopefully you're not fighting the traffic that I'm dealing with. But as always guys, like, subscribe, push the notification bell. And as always, fish on.